Okay, let's try to make something here real quick. Go up to create, go down to polygons. And let's create a cube. And there we've created a cube right there in the middle. Now, let's make it a little bit bigger. Go over here to this square. That's your scale tool. Click on the middle of it, that yellow, little yellow box, and click and drag. And you see you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can adjust the size of everything. Okay, let's, I just made it about as big as the grid. So now, we want to make something with it. Well, how do we do that? First of all, let's add some detail to it. Go to your channel box, go down to Polycube, click on that. Scroll down, to, you see subdivision width, subdivision height, and subdivision depth. Let's start with the width. Middle click, your click on it, middle click your mouse button, and drag it to the right. And you see there, you've added some detail to it. There you go. Just by middle mouse button and you can add as many as you need or as little as you need. I'm going to add that many. Well, I'll add that many for right now. Now, what's the first thing I do when I want to make something? First thing I do is just delete half of it. Select the faces and delete half of it. Make half of the model you're building, then mirror the geometry and make the other half. You get a sy perfectly symmetrical object and it's easier. So, I just went to the vertices. How did I do that? You can right click on it. You have object mode, you have edge mode, you have vertices, you have vertices face, and you have faces. I'm in vertices right now. You see these little dots, little purple dots all over the object. In vertices mode you can manipulate them. Select one and you can move it up, move it down, do whatever you want to do with them. Now there's something you have to watch out for when you're working on with the vertices. Let's say I wanted to select these two vertices right here and I just go like this. Well, you see that? It selected all these on the other side. You have to be careful of that. Because if you just select something on one side, it's going to go through and select on the other side. And let's say I wanted to move them, and I move them. And then I move around. Uh-oh. I move them, too. I didn't want to move them. So, you got to be careful. And if you have it like that, you can hit Control button. Go over it again. And then Control will allow you to select something and shift will add, allow you to select more. Let's say I got this one and I want to select this one. If you do that you see but if I hit the shift button and then and then select it you see you can select more vertices that way. If you want less you hit the control button and select. So that's how you manipulate the vertices. Now Let's see. Move this one up a little. Now you want to, let's say you want to start extracting faces. Right click your button, go to faces. Click on it. There's this little brush up here. Click on it, that's your selection brush. Now you can just go over to faces you need. And that's something else you have to worry about too. With this brush, you don't have to worry about selecting things on the other side. You can set the brush to select vertices too, and you can paint over it. And you don't have to worry about selecting things on the other side. So, now I've got those faces selected. I want to ex extract them. How do I do that? Go up to Edit Mesh. Go to Extrude. Click on it. And there you have it, it extruded them. Now, you got this tool that pops up. You can move the faces out. You can click on the scale control and you can scale them in. And you can move them down. And you can extrude it again. And move it out.
all kind of things you can do. After you use a tool, you can hit G on your keyboard to repeat the command, and it'll extrude it again. Now, I, hmm, that's kind of a nose, I guess. Let's um. Let's um. Let's take these faces right here and let's extrude them, and let's bring them in a little, and let's extrude it and bring it in, and let's shrink it in a little bit, and extrude it again and go back a little bit more. You kind of got a little eye socket. Let's say you want to give them a mouth. So let's see. Let's give them a mouth. Go to Edit Mesh. Select this tool. Insert Edge Loop. Click on it. And now you can add more definition where you want it. Let's say you want to add another face right there. You click on the line and you drag and then you add it some more definition. Go back to your brush. Right click. Go back to Faces. Select that face right there and extrude it. And let's put it back in. Like that. And now you got kind of a mouth for your blockhead man. Now let's round the back of his head off. What's the quickest way to do that? Hit your space bar and you go to your four views. Now, you see you got side, you got front. Let's go to this view. How do you go to a certain view? that you want. Well first of all let me go back to vertices. Click just click on it and then hit your space bar again and you go to that window. Now let's select these. And let's just bring them in a little bit. Let's select these right here. Bring them in a little bit. Bring these in a little bit. All that like there, like that. And you can adjust the nose a little bit too if you need to. So, now we go back to perspective and we can see we got kind of a a slope instead of a square in our blockhead man. Now, how do we mirror this geometry to get it together? Well, first thing we need to do is delete these extra faces. So let's get our brush. Let's go back to faces. Select them. As we don't need them. And hit the delete button. Now, go to object mode. Click on the object, go to Edit Mesh, no, go to Mesh, go to Mirror Geometry, go to your options, and you can see here we want to mirror the geometry in positive Z, and we want to have it selected merge with the vertices, let's mirror it, and you see there, you've mirrored the object. Now, these were too far apart, and you kind of got to split. How do you fix that? Well, you're going to have to go back to vertices. You're going to have to select the vertices and merge them together. And like I told you before, be careful about selecting too many vertices. And go to, go to Edit Mesh, go to Merge to Center. And you merge them two to the center. I select that vertices, Shift select this one. You just went up there and did that. All you have to do is hit G on your keyboard to repeat it. Click here. Shift select that one, hit G on your keyboard, and just go on. Just go on about it. 
getting all these together. Now let me show you what will happen. I'll do it here. If you accidentally select too many vertices, hit G. You see that? You got that. You, that's why you got to be careful when you're working with these vertices. You merge three of them together instead of two. Now, you want to deselect that one, hit control and do it. Now it's right. Now you got kind of a blockhead man. Let's go back to object mode. Looks kind of neat. That gives you the basic ideas of how to use the polygon tools to make an object. 